Well, I think the most visible part uh, is the stadium. Uh, the stadium was a little over 43,000. Uh, we now have 93,000, which is almost 50,000 more than when we came in 64. Plus, we have 77 sky suites. There were no sky suites uh, when we came. Uh, I think some of the things that people don't see uh, is the fact that the budget when I came was something, something around $2 million. The budget now is about $65 million. Uh, another thing, I always point to Dan McGill. Dan McGill is a legend here. Uh, when I first came, he held three jobs. He was the uh, tennis coach, he was the sports information director, uh, and he was also secretary of the Bulldog Club. We now have 34 people doing what Dan McGill did when I first came. So there's been a tremendous increase in service personnel. But in any event, uh, it's, uh, it's been very rewarding to see the great growth of the program uh, during the 40 years that I had the privilege of being a part of it. Well, fortunately, I had a lot of favorite memories uh, and some not so good. But for the most part, uh, yeah, winning championships is what you play for. Uh, we had the great privilege of winning six SEC championships as a coach. Uh, to win it all, the national championship, was very, very special. So I was very fortunate to have done everything that I wanted to do as a coach. Uh, as an administrator, uh, it was very, very rewarding to see our programs develop and to win championships. Uh, during the time that I was here as athletic director, we won 20 national championships. So that's been a, a great source of satisfaction. But I think of all the things, and not to lessen the championships or the excitement of the great wins, I think is the association with the players. And as time goes on, it becomes increasingly more important uh, to be able to get to know the players that you coach in perhaps a different way and for them to get to know me in a different way and to uh, see them, whatever field they go into, and do well, and then you feel a part of it. You also don't feel too good when they stumble, but yet, hopefully, that you can lend a hand and help in any way you can. So the greatest source of satisfaction is time moves on for your players. The first two years that I was here, after the second year, I did have a chance to go to Oklahoma, which would have been a dream job. I had great admiration for Bud Wilkinson, who was a longtime coach. But I had just gotten the program started, and we got off to a good start. I had some great recruiting, and uh, I guess there was an outcry from the Georgia people that it wanted me to stay. And uh, so because we just got started and just got here, I didn't think it was right to, uh, to leave. Then I had a very attractive offer from uh, Auburn, and uh, this uh, certainly pulled on me a lot because my alma mater, uh, because the governor at the time, uh, Bob James, was my roommate, uh, because I had a lot of emotional pulls. Uh, but in the final analysis, I had just been here too long. I'd been here 17 years. All my children grew up as Georgia uh, fans. Uh, my, my roots really were more recent and deeper even than they were at Auburn. So in a very difficult choice, I decided to stay. That was a little box right there that we were going to put our championship rings in. I didn't know that I was going to be an athletic director. In fact, there's an Auburn national championship ring in there that you'd be uh, proud of. Uh, Is that uh, it? Yeah, see it up there? Uh-huh. Yeah. 1957, when I was coaching at Auburn. Really? Yeah, we won the championship.